What up, guys? It's your boy. Um, you already know who it is. I'm the fucking fan now. I know that I am going to get a lot of backlash from this. And I know I've already gotten a lot of backlash the last video I made. But I feel like y'all motherfuckers are being unfair and not letting me explain shit. So I'm here to clarify my actions and why I did what I did. You see, I gave Jimmy a chance for a fucking reason. And there's a legit fucking reason, too. See, a lot of motherfuckers don't realize how good of a person Jamie really is. Jamie is actually a very a genuinely nice person outside of YouTube. She really is. She's one of the coolest people I fucking know. Like, me and her sat down and hung out on FaceTime many, many, many times. Many times. But one thing a lot of people don't realize is that Jamie gets shit on a lot. Like, she gets shit on by so many people, like Blow to Kiki, who are just out to fuck with her. And it's not right. Do I agree with some of the shit that Jamie's done? No. Do I understand it? Some yes, yeah, some no. Depending on what, what it is. But what pisses me off is that y'all motherfuckers decided to come in and attack me saying, Oh, you're making a mistake getting with her. Blah, 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 blah. She's done all this. She's done all that. Yada, yada, yada. And I get that. But point being though, Jamie's actually a good person deep down. She actually is. Like I said, yeah, some of the shit she's done on YouTube is screwed up. But we're all human. We make mistakes. Okay? We are all human at the end of the day. We all bleed red. I bleed red. You bleed red. She bleeds red. We all bleed motherfucking red. But what pisses me off, though, is that y'all motherfuckers are so fixated on the shit that she's done in the past. The shit that she's motherfucking done in the past. That y'all can't let her start over. And that's fucked. Yeah, I know. Some of the shit that Jamie's done is fucked up. But one thing that nobody can motherfucking deny. Is that. Every time shit goes bad. I'm one of the very few people who actually stick my neck out and say hey. What's going on? Like, what's up? What's going on? What do you need? And I always straight up honestly, Jamie's the kind of person to give you the shirt off her motherfucking back. Without a second fucking thought. That's what she does. Like, she will fucking give you the goddamn shirt off her motherfucking back. And I would do the same thing for any of y'all, man. Like, if we were out in public and she knew that you needed a jacket or whatever, she'd hand it to you, and so would I. I'd give you the shirt off my back just as much as she would. But what pisses me off is that y'all are so fixated on the bullshit that she's done. Like, she's done so much screwed up shit, and I get it. It's hard for y'all to trust her. I get that. But what pisses me off is that y'all won't let her live that shit down. You constantly attack her over and over and over. Just like body does, just like body gets from fucking bloated. Two different people, same fucking thing. <clears throat> bloated won't let body live down what he did. Just like y'all motherfuckers won't live, 
Well, Jenny looked down what she did. It ain't right. Like, seriously, she's just trying to live her motherfucking life. Okay? She's trying to live her goddamn life doing what she wants to do. Yeah, sure, she may make mistakes. So what? Let me quote a song for you guys. But Five Finger Death Punch. I made a few mistakes. Yeah, I'm sure I made a few mistakes, but I'm not the only one. Meaning, we all make mistakes. At the end of the motherfucking day, we all make fucking mistakes, all right? We are only human. <clears throat> we are only human at the end of the day. So who are we to judge what somebody else does? Who are we to constantly remind somebody of the bullshit that they've done? What I don't get is this. Y'all let me live down the shit I did. And I've done some screwed up shit. And I'll admit that. I have done some really screwed up shit. Some real screwed up shit. And I will admit that firsthand. And are those things that I'm proud of? No. I'm not proud of those things. Like, I'm not proud of the bullshit that I've done. Hell, if I can go back and tell my younger self, Something, it'll be to not do half the fucked up shit that I've done. But at the same time, if I didn't do those things, where would I be now? Just like with Jamie. Yeah, the shit she's done is wrong. And yeah, she regrets all that shit. But what gets her is that you guys don't let her live it down. It's wrong. Can I tell you something? I've known Jamie longer than any motherfucker up in here. There's very few people who know Jamie a lot more than I do. Very few. So what I don't get is why it is that y'all can't sit there and see how good of a person and how kind and caring she actually is. Like if she wasn't a kind and caring person, when I was fucking depressed after me and Heather split it, you know what she did? She actually sat there and tried to talk to me. And find out what the fuck was going on. She was actually kind enough to try to see if me and Heather would be willing to talk. Because she believes in helping people. Just like I do. And like I said, I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash for this shit. But I don't fucking care. Because you know what? To me, life is way too short. To be fucking bullshitting around with people that don't give a fuck. Life is way too short to be holding grudges. And that's something that y'all motherfuckers are good at. Y'all sit there and you hold grudges against someone for petty shit. Stupid petty shit that was a long time ago. And yet... Like, honestly, I'll admit, man, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves because at that point, y'all motherfuckers are no better than Bloody Kiki himself. Do you know how many grudges Bloody Kiki holds against people? A lot. Bloody Kiki holds grudges against people like a motherfucker. For no fucking reason. Just like y'all hold shit against Jamie, and it ain't right. And y'all wonder why she gets upset, why she cries a lot, and why she's so pissed? It's because of the fact that y'all motherfuckers treat her like motherfucking shit. Y'all think that she's out to screw me over, when in all reality, she's actually not. Sure, she's done some screwed up shit. But like I said, who hasn't done something screwed up? Who has not made mistakes in their life? Plain and simple. Who has not made a fucking mistake in their damn life? And I know y'all motherfuckers are laughing at me for standing up for it, but you know what? 
I'm sick and tired of seeing her getting hurt and pushed around by motherfuckers that don't want to let her live down the shit that she's done. It's sickening. And quite honestly, you motherfuckers should be a fucking shame to yourselves. Because she didn't deserve that. She didn't ask for the bullshit you guys give her. She didn't ask for blood of Kiki to make a motherfucking Facebook and attack her or make a YouTube and attack her. She didn't ask for that shit. Just like I didn't ask for the shit that I got put through. Just like you guys didn't ask for the shit that you guys get put through either. So what right do you have to judge someone else? Like, what gives you that right to judge someone else when y'all need to be judging yourselves first? It doesn't make no sense. I honestly feel like if you guys were to sit down and actually talk to her instead of attacking her for the dumb shit, like, actually sit down and hold a conversation with this girl. Like, sit down and actually fucking talk to her outside of YouTube, maybe y'all would see that she actually is a good person. Like, seriously. Jamie's not the bad guy that people are making her out to be. And it honestly kills me to see her being hurt so fucking bad that she's calling me up damn near 3, 4 in the morning, bawling her motherfucking eyes out because of the shit that y'all fucking do to her. That's fucked up. Like, honestly, Jamie really is a good, kind-hearted person. Like, she really is. But it's like y'all won't let her live down the shit that she's done. That's in the past. Let laying dogs lie. All right? Let what happened in the past stay in the fucking past. Fuck the past. Let me quote a song for you guys by Suicide Silence. It's called, the song's called No Pity for a Coward. The song is called No Pity for a Coward. And the line goes, fuck your past. The future is in your hands. And let me quote another song by Suicide Silence. It's probably their most prominently, most famous song, which is You Only Live Once. You only live one life for a very short time, so make every second divine. And those two lines right there, those two lines right there speak a lot. Those two lines right there that I just quoted speak on many, many volumes. We only have one life to live, so who are we to judge others? We only have one motherfucking life. So we need to start treating people the way that we would like to be treated. With fucking love, care, and respect. And all Jamie's trying to do is make a name for herself doing what she loves to do. Nothing wrong with that. Sure, she's made a few mistakes. But who are we as people to hold that against her? Who are we to hold that over her head for the rest of her life? That's not fair to her. That's not fair to her kids. That's not fair to anybody that she talks to. Like, y'all don't hold shit over my head for the shit that I've done. Do you? No. You guys do not sit there and hold shit over my head. But yeah, y'all proceed to do that to her? Like, you see how fucked up that is? And like I said, Violet, this isn't aimed at you. This is aimed at, like, you know, the other people. Wait, do you see how screwed up 
that is that y'all do this shit. Because like I said, Jamie is genuinely a good person. She really is. And Juggalo 972, one thing you don't realize, and for those that don't realize, yes, I do have a part-time job that I just started very recently. I hope my mom and her boyfriend deliver papers at 2 or 3 in the morning whenever they need the help for 20 bucks an hour. So, yeah, I do work. It might not be the best work in the world, but it's still work all the same, Juggalo 972. So, you can keep your little bullshit opinion about Jamie needing a man, not a little boy, to your fucking self. Because, see, I actually am a man, all right? Not in the way that you're thinking, but I still am. And at least it's work. At least it's something. All I'm saying, y'all, is like, I'm not trying to kill you guys all pissed off and stupid like, but honestly, y'all motherfuckers need to give her a chance to actually be her fucking self instead of riding up her motherfucking ass all the damn time. Attacking her 24-7. It's stupid. Like, for real. Jamie don't deserve the bullshit that she gets put through. Just like I didn't deserve the bullshit that I got put through. And Juggalo 972, you cannot deny. I did get put through a lot of bullshit over the years. Some of it I caused myself. Some of it I did not. But honestly, I actually do have talent, dude. As a matter of fact, I actually just talked to the guy that runs the label that I was with. And he's actually letting me back on. Because I sat down with him this morning and actually had a very long conversation with his ass. Like, I literally had a long-ass fucking two- to three-hour conversation with him. And I explained everything from start to finish. Because the guy knows I have fucking talent. The guy's worked with people in the music industry his whole life. His fucking best friend in real life actually did tours with guys like Boondocks, Blaze, ABK, ICP, Twisted, Tech 9 The guy's open for fucking Tech 9 on several different occasions. So the guy knows what he's doing, obviously, in the music industry. And I've seen the proof for my fucking self. So the guy is actually a really good guy. And you think I don't have talent, motherfucker? Juggle on 972, let me tell you right now, boy. You put me up against any rapper in the world. Any rapper. Any rapper you're choosing, I tell you, I can outclass them and I'll do them on any given day. Name the time, name the place. I can outdo any motherfucking rapper I go against. Hell, take a look at all the motherfuckers that I destroyed in the past, dude. Like every rapper I have gone against, and that's one of the battle me, I've destroyed. Why? Because I actually have talent, Juggle 972, and that's what you're not seeing, bro. Juggle 972, I guarantee you, man. Put me up any motherfucking rapper in the world. Put me up against anybody that you wanted me to put up against. I guarantee you I'll destroy him. And you think I don't have talent? That's where you're wrong, motherfucker. Matter of fact, matter of fact, right now, I'll pull up a fucking song on here that is not rap, and I'll actually sit down, and I'll fucking perform it right here, live for you motherfuckers. Like, you want the proof? I'll do it. I will fucking prove you fucking wrong. Hell, I can do the song I did earlier. I'm not gonna do it. You're not gonna make me do it. I don't care how much they pay. You put on that nose and ears or. Jesus. 
Sips. Oh, baby, I'm a rock star. Rest my own gift. Laying it upside down. It's around. Front of all TV. Can't see the ball game. This week, but rap sleep. We rock on, baby. Rather watch you win and win. You win, you done. You ain't on the last stage. We get you to sign your name on that zip and shoot them up. I never watch that thing again. Yeah, she's my kind of crazy. Little can she play for the little get off. She's too cute to get on my last night. The way she throws her little fits, poking out of the ends. Bound my way with kids. There ain't a fact that she can't win. That's my baby. She's not kind of crazy. You wanna see her in my pickup? Oh, you gotta have that radio up. Bless her heart, she can't sit still. In her room, in the room with me. She says, oh baby, let me grab. My honey is a stick shield. Remember what you did last time. Yeah, she's my kind of crazy. Little game she plays on the never get on. She's too cute to get on my last nerve. The way she throws her little fist, poking out of the battle my way when kids. There ain't a fight that she can't win. That's my baby. She's my kind of crazy. She never lets me rest. She keeps me on that. Nothing to throw me off the bed. Nah, this is just this is just a song. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I got another one for y'all. Hold up. Matter of fact, I'll do one that ain't even country, dude. This one I'll throw y'all off. I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the snake bite into my veins. But I wanna be here again, and I don't remember why I came. See, I had no problem with proving a motherfucker wrong with my skill. by desire why am I so far away no more minutes of my life no more reason to stay freeze feeling praise praise I'm coming back again I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel a snake bite into my veins. Never did I want to 
And I don't remember why I came. Um. Matter of fact, I got one even better for you. Hold up. Where is it at? Love is cold, love is real. She'll never know just how I feel. She wants a vagina, goes like a dream. Makes me feel so mean, makes me feel so mean. Love your city from the love that's blind. Two ten dollars trying to cross that line. On the dark side. Oh yeah, on the dark side. Oh yeah. It's us going on, nothing is real. You know, know just how I want to feel. Da da da! Know she wants like a dream. Makes me feel quick and makes me feel so mean. Nothing's gonna save me from the love that's blind. Just the dark side across the line. The dark side. Oh yeah. On the dark side. Oh, yeah. Who's living for the world that's fine? Since the dark side crossed that line, the dark side, oh yeah, on the dark side, oh yeah, the dark side, oh yeah, on the dark side, oh yeah. And Jungle 972, if I need so much work, why is it that I can hold a motherfucking guttural growl more than most? And how come it is I'm able to vocally range my voice up and down melodically without fucking hurting my throat? <clears> throat> Ha <laughs> ha
How many motherfuckers you know can do that? Or how many motherfuckers you know can do this? There ain't no motherfucker that can do what I do, man. I want to tell you right now, Jungle 972. That's why Fallen Angels Productions brought me on because they believe in my talent. They believe in my skill. All right, you might be able to do that, but you will never be able to do what I'm able to do with this. I would have loved to see you try to do what I do. And see, that's one thing you don't get, Juggle on that too. When I do my screams, I use both my diaphragm and my throat to get that grunginess. Yeah, it may not be the proper way, but you know what? It gets the motherfucking job done.
And guess what? I'm actually good with it. Because, see, I don't hurt my throat when I do that. It does not bother me at all. Matter of fact, let me prove you wrong once again. This is one I've been wanting to use on your ass for a while, boy. I need to prove you wrong again, motherfucker. Again. Do I seriously need to prove you wrong again, Juggle 972? Because I will gladly embarrass you in front of motherfucker here. I will gladly embarrass you in front of everyone again, dude. So go ahead and test me, motherfucker. You want to know what I say to motherfuckers like you, Juggle 972? Throw me to the wolves and close the gate up, motherfucker. I'll come out on top every damn time. So try me. 
And guys, here's the thing. Listen, listen, listen. Before y'all jump to motherfucking conclusions, listen for a sec, all right? One, Jamie never paid me for anything. I never asked for any kind of money. She paid me for the shit that I've done. All right? Those fucking challenges that I did in the past, all that shit that I got paid for that she paid me for, she paid me for that shit. All right? I'm actually working on shit for her today, and she is going to pay me. Like I said, she's not the bad person that y'all are making her out to be. She's actually a good person outside of all this YouTube shit. Like, she actually is a good, kind-hearted person. All right? And Bex, you know as well as I know that when I say somebody is actually a kind-hearted person... 99.9% .9 of the time, you know I'm right about that shit. Jamie actually is a good person. Has she paid me for the shit that I've done? Yes. Have I done anything for her recently to pay me? No. So, y'all motherfuckers need to chill. And, Courtney, here's the thing. That was before I sat down with her and I talked to her. I talked to her last night. I explained all that shit. And guess what? She apologized for the shit a bunch of times. All right? So what I don't get is why you can't even let the shit go. Like, why can't anybody let the shit that she does go? This is my point exactly. This is the point I was trying to motherfucking make right here. Nobody ever wants to let her live down what she did. Was it fucked up what she did? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you only have one life to live. You only have so much time on the surf, so why waste it holding a grudge over somebody? It doesn't make no sense. And I get that, Courtney. I understand where you're coming from, 110%. But you know what? I forgave her for that. I forgive her for that because I'm a kind-hearted person, just like you are. Just like Beck says, just like everybody here is a kind-hearted person. And I don't believe in holding grudges against someone. If somebody does me wrong, lesson learned. But point being, though, Jamie's actually one of the few people that's actually stuck around. And this is something that nobody can deny. None of y'all motherfuckers can deny this. Even though me and Jamie have had our fights and we have gone at each other's throats hard as fuck in the past... Eventually, we end up going back to being cool and talking every time. Like, she's actually a genuinely cool person. Every time we have, you know, gone our separate ways for whatever reason or another, like, we've always ended up talking and being cool with each other again. So what I still don't understand, though, is why y'all can't let the shit go, all right? Like... Give her a fucking chance. And stop sitting there and pushing shit on her like that. Like, y'all wonder why she gets pissed? It's because everybody fucking does this shit to her 24-7, 365, and it gets annoying as fuck. I don't give a fuck what Heather thinks. I give no fucks about what that little slut has to say or think. I don't. I do not give two fucks about Heather. Honestly, I'll be straight up honest, Heather's dead to me. Straight up, she is fucking dead to me. And you want to know what made me give her a fucking chance? Y'all really want to know why I gave her a fucking chance? Because when I saw her in tears the other night, going through all the bullshit that she was going through, I remember that that used to be me. That used to be me in that spot. Every day, I was in that position, being bullied, being attacked by people that I don't like. For no fucking reason. When all I was trying to do was do my own thing. I've been through the bullshit that she's gone through. I have been through the shit that she's been through. I've gone through having the... Fucking cops called on me. I've gone through all the shit that she's gone through with having my house swatted, going through a bunch of bullshit from assholes 
that don't need to be doing that shit. I've been falsely accused of shit. Prime example, the candle incident. Prime example right there. Do you know how many months and years I got accused of being a fucking child murderer? Or accused of murdering my best friend? Do y'all remember how many times I got accused of that shit? Quite a lot. And it was by people like Bloated. People like Bloated who tried to sit there and say, Oh, you did this, you did that, blah, blah, blah. When I never did any of that. And quite honestly, it was thanks to people like James and my now, I will make yeah, my now ex Heather, who proved that wrong. Every time somebody tries to attack Jamie, she proves them wrong. They attack her for no reason, and she doesn't deserve that. Just like nobody here deserves to be attacked. Nobody here deserves to be bullied or attacked in any way, shape, or form. Not Juggle, not 72, not Bex, not Courtney, not anybody. We all deserve love and respect. Plain and simple. We are all human at the end of the day. I bleed red, you bleed red. We are all human at the end of the day. So my thing is, why not treat each other with a little bit more compassion, a little bit more love, and a little bit more care instead of going at each other's throats all the time and attacking each other. And this still confuses the fuck out of me. Y'all don't fucking... Like, y'all don't fucking hold my past against me. So what right do you have holding it against her? Yes, she has said some screwed up shit. She has done some screwed up shit that I'm not okay with. But the point is, she's moved on from that. And she's trying to be the bigger person and do what's fucking right. But yet nobody wants to seem to let her do that. And that's my point right there. Nobody wants to seem to let her move on. From her mistakes. And that's what's so fucked up. Bloated or nobody. Wants to let this poor girl. That's gone through so fucking much. Move on from her mistakes. And that's not right. That's very fucked up. Y'all let me move on from my mistakes. When I made fucked up mistakes. Like those times that I flipped out on live. Yeah. Do I regret those things? Absolutely. Do I take responsibility for that shit? Yes, I do take responsibility for that shit. I really do. I know that what I did was fucked up and wrong. I get that. But guess what? I learned from it. I learned that I don't need to be doing that as much or at all. And I moved on. Plain and simple. I learned from my mistakes and I grew from it. Do I still make mistakes? Yes. Why? I'm a fucking human being for Christ's sakes. I'm a motherfucking human being. We're all human. We all deserve love, care, and compassion. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to get too religious here. But one of my personal favorite scriptures from the Bible that I live by, love thy neighbor, love thy enemy. Treat everyone with kindness. You have to learn to forgive. You might not, you, you don't have to forget it, forget what that person did. But you do have to, you know, understand where they're coming from. And actually let them move past all that. Like plain and simple. You have to let them move past that. Me? Yeah, I do still screw shit up. I'll admit that. I still go off about dumb shit every now and then. But point being. I'm actually working on myself. I'm actually working on becoming a better person than what I was six months ago. And I'll tell you right now. Getting rid of Heather is the best damn thing I ever could have done for myself. You want to know why? Because I'm back to being me. The me that I wanted to be so bad for so fucking long. 
the me that I wanted to be since day fucking one when Heather moved in before all this bullshit started six months ago. All right. Because of Heather, I actually learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about myself in that six months. And one of the things that I learned when I was with her, one of the things I learned when I was with Heather is I saw a darker side of me. I saw that side of myself that I needed to get away from. And thankfully, when Heather left, I was able to escape that. Because if you look at my videos from six months ago to now, I was a very angry person. I was very upset. I was very pissed off all the time. Why? Because of the hell that Heather put me through. Heather was toxic. She was very, very toxic. And I knew I needed to get away from that. Now, was the way I got away from her? Now, was the way I got away from her the right way? No. It was a very fucked up way to get away from her. But point being, I got away from the toxicity all the same. And I grew from it. And like I said, was it right what she did? No, but you know what? That's on her. Point being, I grew and learned from my experiences. Like, no, she didn't force me into the basement, dude. Like, and I know a lot of people are going to ask me this. What, why did we move down to the basement? It's because of the fact that we're actually currently turning the bedroom that I was in into a food pantry. Because here in, a, here in about a couple weeks, here in like two weeks, my mom and her boyfriend aren't going to be able to, you know, go up and down the stairs very much because my mom's boyfriend is getting knee surgery and won't be able to do hardly anything. So they, we, we're moving them downstairs to the living room while I have the basement. And then when they're at work at night, I'll be upstairs hanging out doing whatever. Hell, if y'all want my Xbox gamer tag and y'all want to kick it with me on Xbox any damn time, you guys are more than welcome to. Shit. You guys are more than welcome to kick it on Xbox with me. Hold on. And, of course, fucking private number, which I'm pretty sure I know who it is, which I'm not saying their name. Now, if you guys would like my gamer tag, this is actually my gamer tag and my profile picture on Xbox. You guys are more than welcome to add me on Xbox and kick it with me. No fucking problem, dude. Man, go the fuck away. Man, these private numbers, dude. But if anybody would like to hang out with me on Xbox, you know, hit me up and let me know. We can throw down and do whatever, man. It's all good. Hell, I'll even download Destiny 2. We can play some Destiny 2 together, man. Or we can play Titanfall 2, whatever. Like, whatever y'all want to do. Like, I have no problem with having friends on Xbox. It's all good. Yo, Wesley Pipes, what up, dude? I ain't seen your ass in a while, motherfucker. Where the hell you been? Where the hell you been, Wesley? I ain't seen your ass in a while, fucker. Where you been, you crazy fuckface? Nah. You know I'm just fucking with you, dude. What's good? Oh, dude. Ignomatic. That's not a problem, dude. I'll definitely help you out as much as I can, buddy. Hell, I'll teach you the same way that my friend Devin 
aka Cam Time Racing, taught me. And yeah, I know it's still hard to believe that me and Cam Time Racing are actually really good friends. Again, I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. We are good friends. Like, we may be rivals, but we're still very good friends at the end of the day. I know it's hard for a lot of people to wrap their heads around, given mine and his history of our rivalry. Dude, I don't have N64. Well, not anymore. I used to have N64, but not no more. I know who's motherfucking trying to call, and I'm not fucking answering it. Fuck off. Let's see what this private number is. Man, fuck off, dude. I mean, literally, there's no fucking voicemail. What the fuck? Hold on, guys. I'm trying to figure something out here because somebody keeps on fucking calling and there's, like, no voicemail. What the fuck? I mean, that's just fucking weird. I'll just keep on ignoring this private number, man. This is getting annoying. But like I said, Enigmatic, you know, you're definitely more than welcome, you know, to add me on Facebook, on fucking Xbox, whatever, whatever, man. Anybody who wants to, you know, kick it and be cool, y'all are more than welcome to add me on Xbox, man. No problem at all. The point being, though, like, point being, though, I really do feel like everybody does deserve a second chance. Like I said, yeah, you know, a lot of people might not, you know, a lot of people might not agree with my decision, but I hope you guys understand, you know, like where I'm coming from as a genuine human being. I am seriously getting tired of this fucking private number. You know what I mean? Like I said, like I understand your guys' concern given the history, but like I said, Whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? Like, if it goes bad, it goes bad. If it goes good, it goes good. You know, tomorrow's not guaranteed. So we literally have to make the best of every day that we have. And that's exactly what I'm doing. But anyways, guys, I'm about to hop off here and take care of this god private number that wants to keep fucking calling and won't stop. This motherfucker done called like fucking God knows how many fucking times, dude. God damn, this thing's fuck, dude. This guy's have called like a lot. I don't even know who the fuck it is. But it's seriously getting annoying. But like I said, guys, I'm gonna find out who the hell this is. Yo, Ignomatic. Um, add me on Xbox, brother, and then, you know, like, we can sit down and we can kick it, bro. I have no problem kicking it with you, brother. So go ahead and add me up on Xbox, dude, and I will fucking sit down with you and I'll kick it with you, bro. I have no problem with that. But with that being said, man, I will catch you guys later. To all my real supporters and my friends that I've known for years, like Bex, and coordinating all y'all and enigmatic, you know, I've known you ass for a while, dude. For those of y'all that do understand where I'm coming from, I definitely do appreciate, you know, I definitely do appreciate you guys, you know, 
being understanding and kind of, you know, seeing where I'm coming from. Because like I said, at the end of the day, Jamie's genuinely a good person. And she's not the fucked up evil monster people make her out to be. And I hope that, you know, she can show you guys that she's not a bad guy. Hell, believe it or not, me and Fox are actually on talking terms again. Even after all the bullshit that, you know, me and him fought about, we're actually being civil with each other. We're actually on good terms again. Like, we're not friends, but, you know, we're civil with each other. And who knows? We may end up collaborating on some shit in the future. Who knows? Yo, Ignomatic. Like I said, yo, Ignomatic, let's drop your gamer tag for Xbox, dude, and I'll add you up right now. Like, what's your gamer tag, bro? And I'll add you, like, right now on my Xbox account here. Like I said, WTF, Cyrax. Ain't the same, bro, but uh, not going to happen. Because if somebody goes off on her, I'm going to be there to back her ass up. If somebody starts attacking her for no reason, you best believe I'll be over there backing her ass up. But with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys later. All right, man, I got you. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys later. I'm about to back. Bounce. I'm a boy, and I'll catch y'all when I catch y'all, man. Peace.